today marks the first Sunday in the season of Lent. The season that we'll journey together using the theme of wilderness. For Lent begins in the wilderness. The Spirit guides Jesus into the wilderness where he comes face to face with temptation and struggle. Yet in his 40 days of fasting, resisting, and wandering, Jesus is shaped and formed in his ministry. Similarly, through the wilderness of Lent, we are invited to surrender to the wild leadings of the Spirit. We rarely enter the wilderness willingly, but hopefully, through our wandering, we remember who we are and whose we are. As you can see, our sanctuary is adorned with elements of the wilderness. Instead of running away from the wilderness, we have brought the wilderness in to face it, confront it, and find our way through it. These elements remind us of the many layers of the wilderness. In these layers, we find meaning and courage to carry on. Sand accumulates slowly over time, wearing away from rock and stone, crystallizing teeny organisms and minerals into hard matter. In the deep crust of the earth, grains of sand compress into stone. Sand reminds us that the wilderness has history, for as long as there has been creation, there has been wilderness. Friends, the wilderness is somewhere, somewhere we've been before. In the winter, many trees let go of their leaves. Some trees need to be pruned in order to bear fruit. Trees remind us that we have to let go in order to start anew. And every spring, trees show us what it looks like to become new. In the wilderness, God is cheering, up, cheering for you. Friends, the wilderness is a place to begin again. In the Bible, the wilderness often, like, is often like a maze for the lost. Jacob wrestled with a mysterious angel through the night in the wilderness. The Israelites escaped to the desert and then wandered there for 40 years. Jesus encountered the Samaritan woman alone by a well in the midday heat. But often the wilderness was also a place to encounter the divine. When Jacob dreamt of a ladder leading to heaven, he placed a stone to mark the spot. He called the place Bethel, God's house. Even when we are lost or walking in the dark, stones remind us that God is transforming our terrain into holy ground. Moss has no roots and requires no soil. Instead, it grows on the face of stone. Moss is known for its hardness. It can sustain drought, too much rain, and cold temperatures. Some mosses can grow again after being frozen for over a thousand years. Moss reminds us that the wilderness is a place of new life and re, re, re silent life. Friends, we learn how, ever, how we are in the wilderness. We learn who God is in the wilderness. We learn how to take the next step, how to find comfort with the unknown, and how to trust God's call in the wilderness. In the wilderness, our faith is born, nurtured, challenged, and resurrected. Let us journey together, trusting that God is with us every step of the way.